I'm V. I'm V.
feeling tired? A little anesthesia. Do it, Jim. Oh, motherfucker. Everything chill, mano? Some bastard tried to mug me. I handled it. Oh, local guy. You really think somebody local will try to mug me, Pepe? Listen, V. I got a problem. Serious this time. Find yourself a hole, sounds like. You need help. Uh, no, I could count on you. It's a uh, cork. I owe him. Don't pay by tomorrow, said he'd bust my legs. And he don't joke about that stuff. Got cartels in his corner. You in it with Kirk? Every man, woman, and rat in Haywood knows he's a fucking shark. My bro jumped the joint. Deserve the hero's welcome. I know I fuck up, V. I'll talk to Kirk, but then you're going to owe me one. He's so good You're boy. saving my life, he lacks the truly. Demons walk with him. They tear at his soul. But I'll tell him you're sorry and wish to make peace. Hey, what's the rest? Still unpacking, man. Be checking exactly. He was two bottles of Sensan short last delivery. No, no, that ain't possible. Fuck, I'd take a trip somewhere. You don't have to do this. Ah, uh, still feel like shit. Little hair of the dog. Yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. Oh, I was at the hospital today. Javi's got some broken ribs, but praise Jesus, the bullet didn't hit any organs. What happened? A police manhunt. They were chasing some dealers. So he had it coming, eh? He was just standing there. Standing, understand? NCPD pigs were shooting everyone. He don't deal, never has. Having brown skin, that's the only thing he's guilty of. Hey, Kirk. Wanna talk? V, been a while? Spin it, what you need? Pepe asked me to talk you up. What, he too shot a hand over the Yetis himself? Uh, tell him I don't fight. Not yet. How's your problem? What's he owe you? Afraid that's client confidentiality. Call it a lot and leave it at that. A cred shark with business ethics. Sounds too good to be true. Well, Merry fucking Christmas. Cut him some slack, will you? He'll pay. Just need some more time. Do I look like a priest that runs a charity to you? You borrow Eddie's, you gotta pay him back. With interest. It's common fucking knowledge. You suggesting I let a flaky cunt who can't keep a deal off the hook? No, you let him off because it's me asking. Ha! <laughs> you know me. I'm a man of the biz. So I need to know what I get out of it. 
Transactions go two ways, I get that. I'll owe you a favor. Tempting. Got a Nova idea already. What's this? Grab a look. Mm-hmm. Cream ride there on the page. Only four of them in NC as of now. One, Rayfield Regional Director. Two, Mayor Ryan. Three, a rental service. Uh-huh, and four? Number four will belong to my client. Just as soon as you clep it for me, that is. I do this, and Pepe's debt is squared? Of course. I'm a man of my word, you know that. Old thing simple. You swipe the Rayfield for me, I clear Pepe's account. Even toss in a cut for you, I'm such a nice guy. My man Rick works a parking structure by Embers, club where our Rayfield driver likes to kick it. There every Friday night, like clockwork. Soon as you appear, security cam shut down, gate swings up, the road is yours. Just gotta grab the Rayfield and roll out. Simple. Who's the owner? Just an Arasaka suit from across the water. Spews cash out of every hole in his body. And his name? How would I know? Why would I care? It's a hot item and I know where to find it. Plan sounds shaky as fuck. Oh, how so? Sounds like you're looking for a sucker. This ain't no setup, V. Heard you got a good head. Maybe we help each other make a few eddies. And your man, Rick? Trust him like my own brother. How am I supposed to do this? Expect me to slide under the chassis on a skateboard for a quick hot wire? Fast and easy? Kirk, wheels like this got security systems. Good ones. This bitty bop works like the key Rayfield Techs use for repairs. Opens locks, bypasses identity authorization. A skeleton key for all Rayfields in the city. <laughs> Come on, Kirk, even you don't buy that. Kabuki's tech wizards sell more magical shit than this under the counter. Have a little faith. So, we all agreed then. Best keep your word, Kirk. Easy, V. Job's gonna pad your wallet too, you know? Head to Ember's in the Glen. Rick's in the garage. Berales has my vote. Man, it don't matter. Berales, alone, ain't getting a bell fight. Bullshit. The cabron is best in his way to blocks from me. So, 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 corporate gonna start a fat ass motherfucker. Hey, why do I see no goddamn lemons? No goddamn limes? They're in there, for sure. Kano's got the best feet. Go to the people in Santa. Tell them to be ready. Yes, Padre. Well, who do we have here? We. Long time. Didn't know you were around. Yep. No place like home. Sebastian Ibarra. Haven't changed a smidge. No one calls me by my name anymore. Almost forgotten how it sounds. How are things, Padre? The same. Haywood. Nothing ever changes here. I'd rather hear about you. Got back from Atlanta a few weeks ago. See you got a good down-home welcome. How was it back east? Tell you later. Got something on my plate. How about you fill me in now? We'll give you a ride. Marcus, let's go. So where to? The Glen. Drop me off at Embers. Front door? Take the ramp back of the bar. Show you where to stop. You heard it, Marcus. Your return to NC has been good? Busy already? Uh, two years gone by. 
Not much has changed. You know how it would. It has strong roots, ever watered by the same blood. Now, tell me about you. Eh, I pick up something here and there. Nothing major. But I'm getting by. Appreciate the concern. So... Atlanta didn't turn out like you expected, huh? Went there without expectations, actually. Well, except that it'd be better than here. It wasn't. Maybe it'll all work out for the best. Sebastian Ibarra. Looks like it's my lucky day. What do you want? To settle our biz, once and for all. Got an offer for you, Patty, so listen up. Get the fuck out of Vista. Pull your boys off the street. I'll give you the Glen done deal. No more restless nights. See how generous I can be? Well, Patty, one more fucking word. Stay out of this. I don't know you. And I don't know you, which means you're worth shit around here and capable of even less. Well, anything else? It seems our conversation has come to a close. Careful, Padre. Never know who's got a barrel at your six. You neither, shit bucket. Marcus, please. I am pleased to see you have not forgotten your roots. Still have the gift. So many of the little shits left around here. Their spines go soft when they look down a barrel. Who was that? No one important. He'll be gone in a week's time. Another will come in his place. He pulled iron on you. He did. And he will pay for doing so. Pull up here. Right here. I'll just drop down below. Here, before you go. Your number. Could be useful. Maybe we can also work together again. Take ourselves back two years. Thanks, Padre. Gotta go. So go with God. blind. You got 20 minutes. Kirk, I see the ride. Your moment to shine, kiddo. Good luck. Let's take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a man of little faith. See? We're rich. 
Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. I'll tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. Get the fuck out. Get the okay. fuck out. Easy. Nothing personal, Gopa. Just biz. Rayfield's mine. What, man? Never heard of Thieves' Honor. Finders Keepers. I was first. Listen, only one of two ways to do this. Friendly or fucked up. Either way, the ending's the same. I'm taking the car. What? What are you doing? Chicanos. Under arrest. Stay where you are. Hands where I can see him. Nice and slow. On the ground, motherfuckers, now. Jackie Wells, my old pal from the hood. See you haven't grown an ounce white. Hey, Detective Stance. Been a while, huh? Inspector Stance. Same shit. Speaking of, you Mugs familiar too. Come on, spit it out. Yeah. I'm waiting. You zing to me. Left for Atlanta. Looking for a slice of happiness. Yes. You didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Look. Like I was right. Rat got your tongue? You know, fuck all about me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your tongue. I'm not a patient man. Come on, Stance. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up, let just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell, standing room only nowadays in El Bote. So, they'll probably be out early. Are these the thieves? Fuck, ordinary street trash. 
got him in custody, Mr. Fujioka. We'll be taking him now. It's a waste of effort. I have no time to testify or play it on an investigation. Suggesting we let him go, sir? I suggest you toss them in the sea. Cufflink's broken so this trash doesn't float. You heard him. Fuck. Honestly, for a sec there, things looked iffy. Wasn't sure we'd worm out of that alive. Nah, Stints wouldn't do us like that. You sure about that? Mm-hmm. He's Hayward born, bred, and grown like us. Hates suits as much as you do. Did what he had to do. That's it. If I hadn't come, you'd be cruising Night City in sexy wheels right now. Nah, come on. Job was toxic from the start. Even Kabuki under the counter magic can't get around an alarm like that. Should have known I'd have the PD on my ass. So, maybe now, as God ordained, Jackie Wells. V. I know you. You hang at the Coyote. Wait, Wells? Like Mama Wells. <laughs> Thought I'd recognize the name. She's my blood, all right. Coyote's her dive. It's strange you and I never met before. Got the job to steal those wheels at the Coyote. From Kirk. You work with that sewer slug? Pepe wasn't big and can't afford to pay, so I stepped up. Gotta wonder about Pepe letting Slimy Kirk boss him around like that. Heard what they say. He's backed by cartels. Cartels? No, no, listen. I know those cartel types, and I guarantee you, none of them have even heard of Kirk. El cabrón's gotta learn. He don't do people in Haywood dirty. Come on. Let's go have some lunch. Just like that? You put a barrel to my skull not so long ago. You help my homies. You're okay in my book. No harm, no foul. None at all. Getting one of my good feelings. About what? About us. Sense of kind of chemistry, you know? Come on. I'm fucking starved. Okay. Food it is. Let's go. in this city of dreams. Ooh, I love this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals, but only half these gods will survive a year, and that's if it's a good one. And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Wayland Boa Boa! The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids. Or so they say. But you can only be a major league player for so long. The faster you live, the 
chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Not now, Jack. No time. Maybe later. Sure, sure. Mañana. Mañana. Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Yeah. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. Target's Sandra Dorset. Target's Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug, you could at least try to be... nice. You want nice, supportive? Call a damn helpline. Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomon. Fingers crossed Honey, it's not too late. Is that you? Ugh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix-ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. On your toes. More bodies ain't coming. They're almost on you. These fuck those Reapers. Oh yeah, V. They're coming. Wait for your chance. Pick the prick off.
out on the balcony. Got a window on the left. Give me two seconds to crease the lock. Don't see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Jesus fucking Christ. Think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomon. Need to know what we're dealing with. <sighs> this does not look good. She's in the tub of ice. Crammed in with another. Fuck. Like slabs of meat. Keep it together, V. If she survives, she won't remember a thing. Tiny scar on the subconscious, that's all. Her people who live through shit like this get panic attacks. That ever known why. You'd be sipping a glass of ice cold water and suddenly your hands shaking. V, jack into her biomon. We need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. Sandra Dorset, NC570442. Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Is that even safe? Can't we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomon working, checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything change? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Jack, look sharp. Not done yet. Don't know who's out there. Locked and ready, hermano. Do your thing. Oh, fuck! She's flatlining! V, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo! Fuck, this is bad! Hey, catch, Mato! I think... Holy shit, it worked. Fuera, cabron! Get her outside! Fuera, get her out! Terrace! NC570442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 fibrinogen. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mama, 
I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the metro. How's it gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. Saving my ass, V. She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. Of course she's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson. It's an on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it up. Stop digging Night City. City like any other. Just bigger. Nah, no, mano. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Andrew Wayland. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. <laughs> I'm stuck. 
starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie, they're locking down Watson, remember? Oh, shit. You're right. Is it just me, or...? Oh, fucking knew it. That other ass taming us. I don't like it. Jackie. Come on, B. Can't keep her steady. Hold tight, B. Mierda, perdón. Got you, asshole. B, aim for the driver. Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Watson's on lockdown to further notice. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your... girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean... I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. You should giving me a chance. I'm waiting. Hmm. That's a shame. Look at him. No model citizen, maybe. But he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay. On your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. can be nice when you feel like it. When am I not nice? Um, always? I'm always never not nice. They ain't your average badges. That's Magstack. NCPD's Apex Predators. MTAC rolls in when things fly out of hand. Gunk's out there, though. Just a midday snack for them. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. But they had it coming. your place. What about you? Not likely to make it back to Haywood now. Kill V? They'll let me through. Sure about that? Oh yeah. I'll play nice Jackie again.
dreams then. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Ahí luego. Bug. Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Zip in your heartbeats. Praise be to thee, our Father in heaven. And our second guest is Karina Lee, host of the Chip Band program, which promotes the use of cybernetic implants. How's luck treating you, beautiful? Quieres pelear? 
might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's bile mine. You know, uh, neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Gina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Like my new punching bag. Just gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so, how about it? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So, I took the poor pup in, fed him, clothed him. Nah, for real. He's a military bot. Got a sweet deal. And a tumor mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch? Take notes? Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. You got one hell of a punch there, champ. Ever thought of monetizing it? I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? You go in the ring yourself. Not anymore. Skull's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. Well, there's ways of fixing that. Karenzikov should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, a good edge. You can go far. Especially if you get chipped. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Yeah, lucrative for who? You or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. 
Sounds fair. It's like I said. Good instinct. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight the grand finale. That all clear? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. Have a look. Let's have a look. Thanks a lot.
about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coup. Thought Dex bounced out of the ring a few years ago. Messed with the nasty crew in Pacifica. Things got ugly. Mm-hmm. Gang wars two years back. Somehow Dex got caught up in the craziness. A lot of bodies lying in the streets by the time the shooting stopped. Yeah, Dex got lucky, though. Managed to slip under the radar till tempers cooled. Took a while, but he's made one hell of a comeback. This is it, Jackie. Our break. Dex needs friends, needs us. We can use him. Amen, I say. It's a win-win. How'd you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh, but t buck she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but, uh, his whole deal, he's riding on you now, I see. All right. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own, man. Hello. Not really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling. Then you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. 
nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scab. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Duck and Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just ate. I was supposed to stop by Vix anyhow. I got a date. Misty. You don't say. She's so sweet. Really gets me, you know. And see, back with you so soon. How's your afternoon? I've got a real noodle cooker for you today. Researchers at Biotechnica have exposed it all. Yeah, this is it. Come on, V. Find me once Vic's done dusting your circuits. We'll hash out what Dex has cooked up for us. See you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. You look pleased. Because I am. Always. Makes for easier living. Vicky, surprise. Every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. Oh, wow. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But, something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time, you hear? Chair, please. Sit down. 
Relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now check in. Kuroshi? Whoa. Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm. Sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. See what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Play that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. For the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. 
I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stem. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now well, every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Got cash riding on this? Nah, just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh...
out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. V, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in pieces, Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this... Prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit. <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I've got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military. If we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now. 
and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstream, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. Jackster, talk to Dex. Yeah, <laughs> Gordito's a big deal. Literally a not yet. Clint to want to check our pro cred. But to me, it feels more like he tangled us up with Maelstrom and Militech. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had a switch up in management. Versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Is the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? 
Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you want to play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third-gen deck. Okay. Glad to grab a demon, always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some Shimsoft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. How's this work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here, grab some shady running soft? No, not just any punk. Over the counter, we fix cyber decks. But if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, I'm sure you will find it. Got anything Nova for sale? If you can afford it, yes.
What are these, garbage shrimp? What do you expect? This is Kabuki, not North Oak. What you know about Kabuki, dirty nomad? Come on, I don't need this. Just uh, toss in an anti-whiff tablet for the smell. 15% off, or I will not buy. And they call nomads thieves. Fine. Fine. Hey, friend. You good? Hauling goods through all of NC can't be the safest of jobs. You ever run into any trouble? If you're trying to sell me protection, take it the fuck elsewhere. Already got Takeshi. Bizarre's his. Sue me for being curious. Sure. Whatever. Know this woman? Thirty-something, slightly shorter than yourself. Heard she comes around here a lot. <sighs> this is Kabuki. We get a lot of people. And smart asses? A lot of them, too? Yeah, smart asses, too. Smart asses who could recognize a cop's face? So, how about it? You know her? I might. Depends on how much you'll be spending on your, uh, groceries today. You're telling me you're harboring a badge while operating at a Tiger Claw turf? <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I swear it. Oh, I believe you. But them? You know what they do to liars? Slice their digits off. Clean. Sometimes they even go further than that. All right. All right, I get it. Girls are renting out a room in this here motel. Right over there. These shrimp fresh. They just arrived, straight from the best aqua farm in Night City. Aqua farm? Where do you think? From Pacifica? That trash from the sea no good. Make you sick. Stomach's rumbling. Let's see what you got. can tell you is who took the job. Stop! Fucking try me.
real shame about that cop. I thought you'd handle things differently. Like, I don't know, using words? Ugh, get closed.
Thing is, these rats are human size. Look just like tiger claws, too. Biggest one is a certain Taki Kinmochi. So do your fixer a solid and neutralize her ass.
what it's all about. One less tiger in this town. Appreciate your problem solving skills, V. Get closed. Looking a little put out there, Input. Interest you in a preem, BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. Clearly know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word. Bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Bespoke? 
Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm-hmm. Couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. What a sweet. 